you got your earpiece in? Yes. Turn it on. What's with Will Darrell and Abbey? Life and soul, you are. I'm a high functioning sociopath. Chill out! Bet you're excited now. I don't find that interesting. <laughs> Of it was still plump. Yeah, you want to get him on a diet sharp fish before the self hatred kicks in. <laughs> right. You wouldn't send a Welsh farmer to space without his dog. <laughs> Mum, yeah. Oh, Swisher, do you think so? You had a gig on You won't get to show no sympathy. News of Bridget's conviction spread around this small community within minutes. We will go on, but for God's sake, it's about time Welsh rugby got us act together. Tell the music. That is absolutely deadly. This will be our very, very best show! Very well dressed. Why, thank you, kind sir. Miss me. What a video on up, what a video star. In Toby's new Troyer ceremony, Hinnock, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your host for the evening, Jason Mohammed. Yeah, Nosatha a Hroiso, a ceremony, Wobrio Academy, Bredenig, Anghamri, Duiville, Indeg, Pedwar. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Wales Millennium Centre. It is British Academy Cymru's 23rd annual award ceremony with 28 categories in contention, but just one single aim to recognise the finest films and TV programmes that have made such an impact over the past year. Deniema Heno, i Vathli, Ragleni, Porfarmiadai, a Hreft. Tonight, we are celebrating excellence in programmes, performance and craft. You will see the finest acting ever as winners receive awards and the two other nominees in that category smile, wave and simply pretend to be happy for them. <laughs> I'm serious. It is so wonderful to be here. Really, it is. After presenting BBC Sports Stadium coverage of this year's World Cup final in Rio de Janeiro at the famous Maracanã, working with football legends like Clarence Sadoff, they said to me, Jace, your career will take off from here. So here I am, Sunday night, Cardiff Bay. <laughs> Someone was lying. Doesn't get any better than this. This year, it's all been happening, hasn't it? BAFTA Cymru has now has a strategic partnership with Pinewood Studios Group in Wales. As you know, Pinewood produced some of the James Bond movies. Follow the logic here, just stick with it, because the last time I presented an award ceremony like this, I said on stage to the great Russell T Davis, Russell, any chance of a part in Doctor Who? A few days later, as you Doctor Who fans will know, I was in it as a newsreader. So, Pinewood Studios, if you are here this evening, Daniel Craig will not be playing James Bond forever. Hashtag just saying. <laughs> so, this year it's been a year of change. Welsh TV companies have announced massive moves. ITV Wales are moving to the Bay. S4C is moving to Carmarthen. And BBC Cymru Wales is moving to the front of a train station. But the programmes keep on coming. Documentaries have enlightened us. Comedies, music shows, children's series have entertained us. And dramas have thrilled and chilled us. Take a gwyll, hinterland, 
for instance. Plenty of nominations tonight, including one for Aberystwyth as the new murder capital of Wales. <laughs> so we are all set. Good luck to everyone. Poor luck. Let's get on with the show. And we begin this evening's ceremony with a category sponsored by Cardiff University. Igavluinor Wobber Gunta Heno a Gavres Freithiol Actores Ivank. CDM Dangos and Gavresi, Doctor Who, Stella, are misfits, are continued fashion over. See the grade, haute couture, and durigur. See, not just bilingual, but trilingual. <laughs> She's one of our most talented young actresses, and he's the only I Am a Celebrity contestant to complete his Bush Tucker trial in style. Together, they make an extremely elegant couple. So please welcome Catherine Stewart and David Emmanuel. Fonydd i gion o bonydd i gesau, mae'n hyfryd bod yma efo chi ar y chlysur mor arbennig. Ac i gyflwyno'r wobr yn y categori hwn. Yng Nghymru, rydym yn falch ac hynny'n gwbl briodol, yn ansawdd ein rhaglenni ffeithiol. This year's finalists in the Factual Series category are all extremely impressive, not least in the way in which they tackle a variety of different subjects. One is set in a hill farm in Llanfair Vechan. Another in a Swansea call centre, and the third is a journey across Wales to seek out some inspiring human interest stories. Men category, my Castadli brood and Dana Bob Tro, Damar and Moe Here are the nominations. The call centre. With over half of his sales agents under 25, Nev has developed a unique approach to keeping his young workforce on their toes. Sums up my management style. Get out of my office! The yawn at the back! Get down! <laughs> <clears throat> Probably Napoleon. Dictator. You tell her she's sacked then. But his troops loved him. Taith Fawr and Dean Bach. Taith Fawr and Dean Bach. Ydy meddwl bod y ffaith wedi dim yn gallu gweld ydy o'n haws, ydy meddwl? Bydd cael i fod yn hawdd â chymryd llaeth, achos so chi lle'n gweld pobl yn edrych lawr y tîm o fach o... Fawr mae fyth wedi goch chi gael... Fel fi. The Hill Farm. The sheep weren't the only thing lost in the blizzard. Many wild ponies also perished. So, this is the kind of spring it's been for us. This is just... One hole and one pile. There's another one on the next mountain in Garagwaur. Yeah, it's pretty hard to look at these. This is what their heft was here. This is where they ran. And the winner is... The call centre! Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, well, we had our highs and we had our lows, but we got there in the end. Um, I'd like to thank a couple of people. I'd like to thank the production team who've been working on this for a long time now. I'd like to thank Nev and everyone in the call centre who's put up with us for the best part of three years. Uh, and I'd like to thank the BBC Wales development team who had the ridiculous idea of trying to make a factual series in a call centre. Uh, who did several uh, pilot tapes and pitched this through several layers of commissioning to the success that it was in the end. Um, I think all of us, what we really want to do is reflect Wales to itself, but also to re represent Wales to the wider community, to the whole of Britain. And there's so precious little of that. How often do we turn on the television, the network television, and see Wales on the network television? So to get a factual series right into BBC Three was something that I'll always be very proud of my own very small part in that. So thank you very much. 
Um, just would like to add thanks to Sam Anstis, who was the Commissioner, who had complete belief in the idea from the very start. Thank you. Thank you. This next category recognises the skills of the directors, whether it's a factual series or a one-off programme. This is an award which is sponsored by Capital Law. Though there can be only one winner, three extremely talented individuals have received nominations for their work. Damar and Webiadai. Gwirionedd the Galon. Dylan Wyn Richards. Well, but him and her steer Bobby Nape the Guano, we never sent well in her. Team Law Pammy and Green Shun, the Goddy Nadrobe. On Veninus, we mind Troy Nol and Gwelly, we need Nina Malion. I mind Ham the Nolion. Tight Fowler Dean Bach, Gwenon Meyer. Heavy win Morphin's Eye Hospital in Finde. How are you doing, Heather? Uh, yeah, I think it's good. I think. Um, because I'm going to be a little bit of 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 a a tia gat rami, a kicha deal. But then I rock on a rat, so the business of my divan either. Or need to come out to custard limo instead of what done. I seem to have a hundred yard on the performer door. And the winner is Aranichid Ew. Dylan Wynne Richards, Gwirionna de Gallon. Um, we sent a job man in Lucas Young, really. Um, Lucas got Guisogra, Cummins in the Ash Valley Napeta, Guisogra Javrik, Grahe, Gul Camera, Lucas Sigal Shana, Espadarek, Symbol and Camille Risks, as seen in the Red and Ninigid. I have a Lucas Sigal, a drug Lenam Ruinmore, and a Gola, John Davis. Um, yeah, Ninia. Nothing job being how the own, young, young, really. Just feel more God to live in, so more honey, John, really. Just more young. Right, let's turn our attention now then, ladies and gentlemen, to photography and this year's photography and lighting award sponsored by ELP. Category photograph now. Aki Gvluinor Gwobrayama Hokroiso i Thai actor Ivang Sin Denny Lotvaur or Salu. In Da Vinci's Demons, he appears as Renaissance rascal Zorasta. He'll help his friend Leonardo even if it involves stealing, hustling, and even grave robbing. I don't see anything morally wrong with that, but then again, I do work in television. Anyway, he's joined on stage by an actress currently starring in two very different TV roles. On BBC Two, she plays Esme, who plays one of those peaky blinders. And on BBC Four, she's Sophie in the comedy series Detectorists. Well, I detect it's Amy Fionn Edwards and Greg Chillin. <laughs> Man hyfryd gael bod, man hyfryd gael bod yma, ac i'n cyflwyno wobr hon ag y ffotograffiaeth a goleo. 
Cinematography involves a range of impressive techniques to light shots both on set and on location. This year we celebrate those precise technical skills which have contributed to creating the atmosphere of three top drama series. Here are the nominations. Sherlock, Steve Laws. Tredeg pump the ornod, who Talvrin Walters. A Gwyll, Hinterland, Richard Stoddard. And the winner is... Hinterland. A quiz. This is why I stay behind the camera. <laughs> um, I'll keep it short. Thank you, S4C and BBC Wales, uh, my mum and dad, and my beautiful wife, Rebecca, and uh, Wales in general. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> and Fiction Factory, obviously. Our next category takes us from fiction to cover factual photography. It's an award sponsored by St David's Hotel and Spa. In the nominated work, we've been back to the Hill Farm. We've remembered a World War I soldier poet, and, we, and we've taken a black and white journey through America's Midwest. Midwest. Here are the nominations. Dymor Emma Biadai. American Interior, Ryan Owen Edelston. The Hill Farm, Luke Pavey. If you live off the earth and work hard, You've, you've got that connection with nature because you're living with nature every day. I think, some, I don't know, maybe it's something with being Welsh. I don't know. Time Shift, the poet who loved the war, Ivor Gurney. Ryan Owen Edelston. He can visualise his youthful wanderings by the symbols on the map. Ryan Owen Edelston, Time Shift. Oh, amazing. 
Hello. Um, Joe Kanvawa, Bath to Cymru, thank you. I can't believe I'm up here. Um, wow. Uh, so, it's, it's a huge honour to be up here. Um, and it's kind of a validation of the last deco decade or two, I can't even speak, of all my work. So, thank you. That's much appreciated. Um, huge thanks to Dylan Gock, um, Catherine Ramasut and Griff Rees uh, for introducing me to uh, John Evans' life and inviting me to an American interior adventure. So thank you. Um, I've also got to thank a few people who inspired me along the way. Kath Davis, my film teacher, who, who was an early inspiration for me. Got to thank my best friend, Luke Jacobs, who gave me a lot of advice on this project. Um, I've also got to thank my mum and my brother who have always been supporting me. Um, they're here tonight, so thank you. Congratulations on your engagement tonight, mum. It's great news. Thank you. And, um, <laughs> thank you. And, and finally, um, I've got to thank my girlfriend. Um, you're the best person, the best human being I know. So this award is for you. Thank you. Let's now turn to a category very dear to my heart, sport programme and live outside broadcast as sponsored by NEP Cymru. Mar Wobr am Raglen Choreon a Dallediad Athanol Byw. Cael a chyflwyno gan ddau o Ser Mwyaf Disglar Cymru yng Nghe Mar Gymlaimlad Eleni. To present this award, not one but two Commonwealth Games medalists. The 800 metres freestyle gold medal winning sensation and the rhythmic gymnast who won six six medals, plus the David Dixon Award for Sporting Excellence and Team Spirit. Felly rhochroeso mawr i ddwy o athletwyr Ivan Cymru, ladies and gentlemen, freestyle swimmer Jazz Carlin and rhythmic gymnast Frankie Jones. We are going to have a chat with the two girls after their magnificent performances in Glasgow. We're not doing this for everybody, by the way, but I think you have to for somebody who was just utterly fantastic in Glasgow. Frankie, can you sum up what your summer has been like? Amazing. <laughs> um, big shock. I've never done anything so good, so to be able to do it, especially for Wales, was a privilege for me. And I hear now that you're going to schools around Wales inspiring the next generation of gymnasts. Yeah, I went to your children's school just recently, so it's been lovely to actually have the time to go and do that now i finish finished training. Wonderful, thank you very much indeed. And Jazz, if I could just have a very quick chat with you, because I know the heartache you went through of missing out at London 2012. Did you go to Glasgow knowing and thinking you could win a medal? Um, I'd obviously been training really hard and uh, I put everything into my training so I was really hoping that it paid off in Glasgow and uh, it really felt like a home games and the Scottish crowd was absolutely amazing. <laughs> and the atmosphere within Team Wales? Oh it was incredible I think um, to be part of the most successful Welsh Commonwealth Games team ever um, is absolutely an amazing feeling and obviously we're all so proud to have been a part of it. Well you made us feel very proud thank you very much indeed ladies and gentlemen Frankie and Jazz on you go girls. It's so important to encourage people to celebrate the achievements of sportsmen and women, whatever their discipline. This year's nominations may focus upon one particular sport, but they all capture different ways in which sport motivates everyone. Here are the nominations. Cymru, pan campwyr y chwe glad dwy fil ag unig tri. For me personally, I felt I contributed a lot more than I had the previous year. Um, and even though I wasn't lifting the trophy, I enjoyed being on that podium, you know, twice as much as the year before. The Scarlets. In Llanelli, top class rugby has been played for 140 years. And it inspires a whole region. We've got boys out on this field that are amongst the best in the world at what they do. But these days, it's more than a game. It's a business. And it's a business under threat. What keeps me awake at night is paying the wages next month. A club rugby. 
Dan i wedi cael sawl cawod yn ystod yr hanner cyntaf. Mae wedi bod yn ddigon corfforol a chystadleol hefyd yn ystod y deigiau munud agoriadol. Ond y gweilch sydd ar y blaen dau gais Ashley Beck y mae'n teisio ar waith creadigol rhys web y mewnwr i'r enw ar y blaen i ddechrau ar ail gais yn dod o bas Sam Davis yr asgellwr asu yn y Tonga yn croesu. And the winner is a club rugby. It's very much a, um, an award for the team. I mean, rugby is a team sport, but as you all know, an outside broadcast unit's a, a team sport as well. And uh, I'm accepting this on behalf of a, uh, a very competent team of people. Uh, two very special mentions, though, I think. Um, one for the commentator on that particular match, which is Hugh Ellen Davis, not only for his uh, commentary for this game, but also for over 40 years of Welsh language commentary so this is for him and also a very special mention for a chap called Matt Parsons who's been suffering with ill health and he's a part of our production team and this one's for Matt so get him all and be off the back of you. Two more categories now, starting with a look at the single documentary and award sponsored by Trussell. He gavlunod wobber am raglen dog ven sengel, gavlunid bowed gwilt en wokav cymru, a gavlunid nwyddion a aeth ar daith personol in the weather i rani proviadau gyda mamau sy'n gweithio. To present the award for single documentary, we welcome two presenters. As birds head south, he will be migrating himself towards BBC Two's Autumn Watch, where he's spearheading a campaign to clean our beaches. And he's joined by a news anchor who recently left Wales today to share her experience with other working mums in Wales. Please welcome Lucy Owen and Yola Williams. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, Noswaithar. It's a great pleasure to be here with you this evening at the Wales Millennium Centre, isn't it, Yolo? It is. It's lovely. And I know what you're all thinking. You're all thinking, are they or aren't they? And the answer is commando. <laughs> and that is Lucy. I am wearing boxer shorts. Trwy'r gwaith, mae'r enwebion heno wedi dangos meistrolaeth llwyr ar y grefft o greu rhaglen dogfen grymus. Three intriguing and thought-provoking subjects provide this year's nominations for single documentary, Damar and Wabiadai. Gwirionna the Gallon, Dr. John Davis. I mean, well, Sabir, I mean, when he does send him barrowed, when he tells him, I said, that's not Sabir, that's not at all. And he will like any said, Davir, Aruriet, he said, when he does send him, Rodaya Oxfam. And we feel need that. Well, I think I don't need my room. I'm playing with my ilma. I'm a new dancer. I'm a child. I'm a new drummer. And Manuma, ah, he's very weird. Manu, the drummer, tear or rather. Darwin, a camera, our country. Are the weather covered? My dam caniath now with spawn and Kylie Chahidi. Dam caniath a splagiad Darwin a Wallace through the Tholiad material. Nid yw Charles Darwin na Alfred Russell Wallace yno. Ac o fewn hanner canrif, mae enw Wallace yn dechrau diflannu. Mae'r rhaglen hon yn datgelu pam na ddylai enw Darwin fod wedi bod yno o gwbl. O'r galon, yr hardydd, un dydd ar y tro. Ond i mewn cyflwr o'n adwy ddim wedi golchi ngwallt i'r Swiss nosa, 
need to be in a ring in the shadows with Nossa. Gweld one again. I can cornell the head guide and gweld a chin and arrows and danavi. I drink of your just blow the oil, my own ear drink. Do I sride to me? Sride to me a fed a gin night, I have you. And the winner is Aronichid Ew. Take your time, Luce. Yeah. Nearly there, nearly there. Or Gallon, a Hardy's. Diolch yn fawr i chi BAFTA a diolch yn arbennig i Deilu'r Hardys. Dwi'n mynd rhoi iddi ran i stori mor berthonol a stori chi yn gyhoeddus. A jysg o bitho bod y rhaglen di'n neud gwahaniaeth bach yn y frwydr na sydd gyda llawer o bobl a um, ynglyn ag alcoholiaeth. A gobeithio bod y dangos hefyd bôn a ffordd mas i'r unig sy'n dioddau. Diolch fyd i'r tîm gwych yn, yn rondo am bob cefnogaeth. Lined sy'n wastad na fel craig bob amser, Gareth, Nia, Hayden Denman ar camera a Galed Ellis a John Gillandes y golygu ddi enwi dim ond rhai. A diolch i Llion yn esbod yr eich hefyd o mi yn ogeth e bob amser ac am roi lle i pynciau, i'r pynciau yma. Um, ond y bennaf, diolch i chi fel teulu, uh, Carol, John, uh, Geraint a Daniel. Diolch yn fawr iawn. Uh, Madam Karochin here, I won't keep you long. I just want to say a massive thank you, because um, I think saying thank you is so important to Carol, to Hayden, uh, to Gareth Williams, to Lynette. To Lynette as well has been amazing, and to Theon Iwan for uh, being brave to commission some amazing things on S4C this year. Thank you for your support, and thank you for your Also, stigma is a massive thing that we all kind of... We, 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 all, we all do it. It's attached to so many things, and I think it's important that we all notice and take a few messages away tonight that... Um, Perhaps us in the audience tonight, we're too old to be educated. So in this program, we went to a school, we spoke to kids and we said, you know, what, what does an alcoholic look like? What is an addict? And they all said tramp, every single one of them. They said the most derogatory words you can think of to explain this, be this, this beautiful woman here, my mum. Um, so it's important to kind of to break down stigmas and them stereotypes which are in our community still. And also uh, to remember this is a positive story. Um, obviously, we should remember those that have lost their battle with addiction at this moment. But um, to take away from this tonight that this is a positive story, my mum beat that horrible illness. So I want to thank you know, my brother for being my brother, my dad for being, for being my rock. Um, <laughs> But also, if, if we can, I don't know if it's possible, but to, um, to thank my mum, to applaud my mum for beating such a horrible illness. Could we give my mum a massive round of applause? Good <laughs> thank you. If you haven't seen it, watch it. It's a fantastic programme, it really is. Right, Skolagi Rwan, North in Gidnapod, Skilier, Golagid, North Grey Ragleni. And this award for editing is sponsored by Gorilla. Now, how many times have we all heard the phrase, it's okay, we'll fix it in post? Every day, Luce, mm -hmm. every single mm -hmm. day. Yes, well, it's not really a case of fixing, it's all down to the craft, skills, and a creative eye. Here are the nominations. Damar Enwebiadai. Mered, Sean Aron. 
Der er en kald dasne her jo, en bordolleft i vel på bold. Men bussig i vaneki, en dyrk garuk, ater garuk. In han har vi ejt ni sidst ved de kablyna ini et i ved de ejt mordeg. Jo så var det alt. Tredje femte turnad. David Hunt. Dag Juan. Melody. Am sante. A Gwyll, Hinterland, Mali Evans. And the winner is Aranithi the U. Faster than you lose. See that? Not much, not much. David Hunt, Tridek Pimp Durnar. Just hopping the Alch, he um, Paul Jones, uh, can her kid, Aki Gareth Brin, uh, Kavaruidor, um, Aki Bafta. I'd just like to thank Paul Jones, the producer, who put so much into the series, to Gareth Brin, the director, and to my wife Susie for putting up with all the uh, anti social hours. Thank you. Let's now move on then to the craft of the writer. And this year's Writers' Award is sponsored by Ethos. One of Wales's finest writers, Dylan Thomas, was born 100 years ago tomorrow. Our next presenter has joined in the celebration surrounding the great man and his work by co-writing and starring as Thomas in the movie Set Fire to the Stars. It's a role that's been the lifelong dream of Callan Jones. Writers have a uh, crucial role, whether it's on film or television. Without the power of their imagination, there would be no stories coming to life on the screen. Here are this year's nominations for Best Writer. Damar and Webiadai. Dick Pemp Diurnod, Siwan Jones, Will Roberts. Hewnyaun. Hewnyaun. Pam so ditches and go over in Sally straight up. Now, I've been them drugs, okay? On the leg, I face a spender. I just produce snitch. Do you quick hell with them, Danva? Okay. Some simple vowel now. Now go there. Condescending bitch. I should marry Richard, Sally. Sally, what a happy family's there. Tana Trinessa, there. Stella, Ruth Jones. You must be Sean then. Uh, yeah. I'm Auntie Brenda. Listen, I'll come straight to the point. I got no time for flighty northerners. Flighty northerners in leather coats on mopeds with anchoring for older women. Now, you look after Stella and you and me get on just fine. But you mess around with her head and her watch call and you'll feel the wrath of my weft, good boy. Do you understand? Brenda, you know I love Stella, don't you? Love isn't worth the paper it's written on, boot. Still, nice to meet you. Yeah. Likewise. A gwell, hinterland, Jeff Murphy. Rather he married a van. Nagger the idea of Hedy gone. Don't know if this would be called a very wacht. The label could have been Pam. 
mijn bied hulle hier voor kunnen gee. Alles wat een werk gee. En de winnaar is... Jeff Murphy, a great hunter. Hello. It's a bit surprising. Um, thanks to everyone on Hinterland. It's a joy to work on. A real pleasure. Uh, it isn't always, like with all things, when you're developing scripts and ideas, it doesn't always work the way you want it to on all sides, and sometimes it gets a bit weird, you know? But at the end of the day, you get there, and, and uh, the thing comes out, and you end up here somehow. I don't know. But uh, um, thanks to everybody on the production of Fiction Factory, thanks to everybody involved in it, thanks to everybody back home, my loved ones, the people that know who they are, and who have supported me for many, many years. Um, it's a real honor to be here and a pleasure. And thank you all, and thank you, BAFTA. Now, my answer will be carried in a draw at a count of or Gwabar Arbenig Heno, plus Sean Phillips, Sidon Wobber, a controlled Gan Pushkor and Academy Bredenig and Hamri. Mar Wobber and Kalech of Luino I Gumro, Nigam Rai, Sid Wurigneid, Kavraniad Solwedo, a mid film, Ne Mount Ragleni Teledi Ruidwaith. The Sean Phillips Award is the first of tonight's special awards and is in the gift of the Committee of BAFTA Cymru. This year, it recognises a truly significant achievement in television. To present this award, we're delighted to welcome a very distinguished visitor from next door. Please give him a very warm welcome, the Right Honourable Carolyn Jones AM, the First Minister of Wales. Good evening. My blesser, Ivo Rama, and Dathliade Gidahi Heno. I'm in Bushi Grosbenn, of course, but I get the kidnapper of talent, so Gidani Amang Hamri. It's a great pleasure to be here this evening to be able to announce the winner of a special award in the gift of the British Academy Cymru Committee. It's given in the name of one of our favourite actresses, Sean Phillips. However, this year's recipient is not an actor, nor indeed a writer, nor a filmmaker, and he certainly doesn't work in fiction. Indeed, he works in fact, cold, hard facts. My initial truth, Sean Phillips, is that we have the opportunity to be able 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 to be a chyflawnodd hynny gan ddatblygu enw da o bwys i ddoi hun wrth adrodd ar straeon, megis etholiad ar arlywydd Mandela, llyfryddiaeth, prif unidog rabin a rhyfeloedd, a fi'n diffeithio'r gladwriaethau Balcanaidd yn 90. Our awardee is a television journalist who has often put himself in harm's way to bring us some of the biggest stories of the last four decades. He's reported from over 80 countries and witnessed 20 wars. In doing so, he's been robbed at gunpoint, arrested and shot. However, he certainly did achieve that long-cherished ambition to be a foreign correspondent. Ers dwyfil a phimp, mae wedi bod yn olygydd dwyrain canol y BBC ac wedi gweithio'n ddioed i adrodd ar straeon newyddion mwyaf yr oes fodern or Ranbarth Hono, with the Ardrail cost personal En Vaur. In 2005, he was appointed the BBC's first Middle East editor, a region still plagued 
by conflict and humanitarian tragedy, as recent events have shown all too well. It's a tough job, but this man does it extremely well. Let's remind ourselves of some of the landmarks in a remarkable reporting career. At the end of this cul-de-sac on the outskirts of Lockerbie, the rescue workers found terrible devastation. Fires destroyed what little was left intact by the wreck of Pan American Flight 103. So this part of the town suffered more damage than any other. While the wreckage awaits the official investigators, a quiet residential community has been destroyed and many of its residents are dead. Last night, the air raids were among the heaviest of the war. Targets in and around Baghdad were attacked systematically. The public shelter in Al Amiria, a residential area in the west of the city, took a direct hit. We were allowed complete freedom of movement in the shelter. There were no restrictions. I wanted to see if there was any evidence that the shelter had been used as a military command bunker. I didn't find any. The crowds on the hill know that if the bridge falls, they will have savaged morale on the other side. It would be a strategic victory as well, because it's the route to the front line. The soldiers told us that the best way across is to run. This is the least dangerous way over the River Neretva. A stroll across here used to be recommended in all the tourist guides. Serb attacks against civilian targets are escalating steadily. There is a time or a place where the citizens of Sarajevo can feel safe. Some parts of the city are more dangerous than others. This road became known as Sniper Alley. Because there are a lot of snipers. You just drive as fast as you could. set off to cross the front lines at about 6.30 yesterday evening. The children were tied to the seats so that they wouldn't be thrown around by the rough roads along the way. Their parents are missing or refugees. Our cameraman took this picture of 13-month-old Rocky Sulemanovic just before he left the bus as it approached no man's land. A few minutes later, Rocky and Vedrana Glavas, a three-year-old girl, were killed by the sniper. I felt more at home in Sarajevo than in London. It felt normal. I didn't have to explain anything to my friends in the Holiday Inn. But war zones distort and pervert normality. The abnormal becomes routine. Stay there long enough and you'll find your breaking point. On the morning of the 23rd of May, the people of South Lebanon were celebrating. The Israelis were ending an occupation that had lasted 22 years. As the BBC cameraman, Malik Kanan and I filmed the Israeli kibbutz Minara, which is behind the burnt-out car, an Israeli tank opened fire. It destroyed our car and killed the driver, the BBC's Abed Taush. That's Abed. Oh, shit. You got me dead. Objective for a journalist in any kind of journalism, especially in war journalism, is to tell the truth. That's all you can do. After so much and so many years, the people of South Africa have spoken. So help me God. There is real optimism that the poison has been drawn, that the violence will end, that they can start again. In Jerusalem tonight, tens of thousands of Israelis are still at the Knesset. They're clinging to the hope that Mr. Rabin did enough to make the peace process irreversible. 
Colonel Gaddafi has accused America of betraying him as he responded to growing international calls to step aside. Our Middle East editor, Jeremy Bowen, was the only British television journalist to speak to Colonel Gaddafi earlier today. No demonstration at all in the streets. Did you see demonstrations? Uh, yes, I have, yes. Where? I saw some, some today. I Where? saw some in Zawiya. Yesterday I saw demonstrations. Are they supporting us? No, they're not supporting They us. are not against us. Some, some were against you and some were for No, you. no one against us. Against me for what? Because I am not present. They love me, all my people with me. They love me all. I suppose the things I've seen over the years, uh, I will always carry with me. The events you see in your life affect you. You'd be made of uh, stone or concrete or something if they didn't. And it's a good thing that events that you see affect you. The Syrians say that any attempt to fight jihadi groups without their soldiers isn't going to work because they are experienced, battle-hardened, and they're fighting every day. The war in Syria isn't ending. It's renewing itself and its politics are getting more tangled and more bloody. Jeremy Bowen, BBC News, I'm Beda. And the recipient of the 2014 Sean Phillips Award is Jeremy Bowen. get me crying if you do more than that. Don't do more. That's, I am so honoured by this award. I'm so honoured as well by your reception tonight. I'm really touched by it. Um, I never intended to be a journalist who, up to now in my career, and I'd like to, I'd like to emphasise that it continues, uh, I'd never thought I'd be someone who's ended up going to 20 wars. It was not particularly my plan, but it's worked out that way. And I think to start with, one of the reasons was, after I did it the first time, was exciting. It was like drinking from a very dangerous cup, a very dangerous cocktail. But after that, I started feeling a sense of journalistic purpose. I started feeling that I wanted to shine a light into some of the bad corners of the world. So I think going to wars has been part of that and working as much as I have in the Middle East, especially in, since 2011, when things have really deteriorated in a serious way, uh, it is impossible not to see a lot of conflict. You know, I've got a, a kind of flak jacket index. I have a box, a pelly case, uh, which I keep my safety stuff in. And it used to be that there were quite a few jobs I went on in the Middle East where I didn't have to take it, or I'd take some stuff out. Well, I need that, I don't need that. Now, almost every thing I do. I take my flak jacket, I've got two kinds of gas masks, my first aid kits, you name it, because unfortunately it's hazardous. It's not something that I would prefer to be doing in a sense, but it's an important story to tell and I want to be the person who tells it. I'm, I'm sorry tonight that my father, Gareth Bowen, who some of you who worked at BBC Wales 20 years ago might remember, can't be here tonight because he was a journalist for many years. I grew up surrounding his talk of journalism and the BBC, and so in a sense I never had a chance of escaping my particular fate of joining the BBC, with whom I've now been for 30 years. Um, 
I think that it is very important to have people in this age of mass information, to have people who can try and help the viewers or the listeners, the readers, through it a little bit. A few years ago, when social media was really getting going, some people were saying there's no need anymore to have trained journalists. I think there's more need than ever. And I hope that young people keep going into it and keep trying to, all you can do is you, use your own eyes and your own ears and try to tell the truth. My job has been very rewarding, <clears throat> continues to be. You know, I have been at the front row of history many times and I continue. I'm going to Damascus next week, for example. Uh, but it also has exacted a very severe price. You don't get anything for nothing. And the price of seeing so much history is feeling some of the pain. Uh, you saw there when my colleague Abba Tauch was killed by the Israelis in South Lebanon. My, the worst day of my life, the last day of his. Explaining what happened to his wife and family the next day was not an easy job. Uh, it is a tough thing to do sometimes and it, and it takes a toll and so I've got to thank my family who are here, who put up my nearest and dearest, some of them are here, three of them are here, uh, I've got lots of others, uh, and uh, they have put up with a great deal, my family, over the years, monosyllabic returns from jobs, uh, falling asleep for no reason, uh, not even after a drink, uh, and so without, it, I could, without them I couldn't have done it and couldn't continue to do it. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, BAFTA, thank you so much for this. It really means a lot to me. Wow, and it's heavy. Thanks. Bye-bye.